All right, guys, so it did finally happen. It's been kind of reported for like, what, three weeks now, ever since the NFL draft, like the idea of this happening. And then it did finally come into fruition. Tim Tebow, as of today, has officially signed a contract with the Jaguars, a one-year veteran minimum deal, um, to compete at tight end. And he will actually be at Jaguars OTAs today. So, um, honestly, this is a relatively small story in the grand scheme of things, but um, because it's the name Tim Tebow and, you know, he's celebrity football status and just celebrity philanthropic, <laughs> if that is a word, status, um, I mean, he's just a big name out there and, you know, it's it's controversial because he's getting to get a shot at tight end. Um, but at the end of the day, man, like, I'm going to be rooting for him. I mean, I don't think he has a shot at making the roster. I mean, I guess he has a shot, but I would say 10 to 20% chance he actually makes the roster. It's a very, very low risk kind of thing. I know the big, the big argument out there is, oh my God, this guy is costing a player a roster spot. But the player that they cut, Reichwell Armstead, has already been signed by the Giants. So, I mean, the guy that they cut essentially found a job um, very shortly after. But um, yeah, I mean, Tim Tebow, he's going to be um, with the Jaguars competing for the back half of the roster. I'm going to be rooting for him. I mean, this is like everybody around the NFL like hates the Jaguars for this. They're, they're the worst people ever for giving this guy an opportunity. Um, they're going to lose. And I, I don't I don't buy the story of the Jaguars going to lose, like the coaching staff is going to lose the players. Like literally, there's been perfect attendance at OTAs so far, something that never happens. Like these guys are buying into Urban Meyer and buying into the regime. And if they, if, if these players are, going to all of a sudden hop off the train and, and they're going to lose Urban Meyer because of this Tim Tebow signing, then we have whole other issues, man. In my opinion, we have whole other personnel issues. If these guys' work lives are affected because they bring in Tim Tebow to the roster for competition, I mean, we're a 1-15 in 15, We're a one in 15 team. We got whole, whole separate issues when it comes to that. But, um... Yeah, the uh, Jaguar signed Tim Tebow. We'll kind of see what happens. I mean, it's, it'll be interesting seeing him kind of in a Jaguars uniform. Uh, but at the end of the day, I don't expect him to make it. It's a, you know, low risk type of thing. But, you know, I'm all for giving Tim Tebow a chance. I mean, one thing about Tim Tebow is that he, um, you know, he does things against public perception like a lot. Like, um, what I mean by that is like, Everybody's always ha hating on him for the different moves that he takes. Everybody hated him as a quarterback. Everyone hated him for kind of spreading his Christian beliefs. And as we all know in the NFL and in, and in you know everything out there in sports, um, if you make anything about politics or religion, people are just gonna hate you. Um, that's one thing that we um, that we've kind of seen. If like people don't like players using their pat platform to spread. Um, what they believe in personally, but you know, everybody hate on Tim Tebow for that. They hated on him for going to the MLB, and now everybody's hating on Tim Tebow and the Jaguars for um, just kind of the this tryout that he's getting. But I'm gonna be rooting for him. I'm gonna be rooting for Kelvin Benjamin over there for the Giants when he competes at tight end. Honestly, I am a pro player kind of guy, and I I I root for these guys to live out their dreams. That's just me personally. Um, you guys can all have your kind of stance on it, but yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, I wouldn't stress out too much about it, uh, but this is just kind of my my perception going into it. But all right, guys, have a great Thursday. The, a new episode of The Hunt is coming out tonight, and I will be doing a live reaction kind of to that. So um, I look for, I'll probably be doing that at 8 o'clock tonight. So turn your bell notifications on when I go live for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. But all right, guys, go Jags.